What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Striller, back at you. I uh, just want to do a quick um, quick video here. A lot of people have been asking me if I can still store and fold my electric XP with the handlebars, uh, my new handlebar mod. And I'm going to do it for the first time with you all. Let's see. Okay. As y'all see, I have eight hangers. I added these 13 and a half inch eight hangers to my XP along with a few other mods. Um, let me talk about those first. This seat here, uh, it looks soft, it feels soft, but just like the original seat, after a while, it it will hurt your ass. So I don't know if I need an old, a old man seat, a uh, super old man seat, or if that's just after a while, being on, just sitting on a bike, it's gonna just hurt. Um, even with the suspension uh, stem, I actually tightened that all the way up to take uh, so it wouldn't be so spongy. So maybe I needed to, to loosen it out, bring the spring back out or something. But I'm not sure if this seat is more comfortable <laughs> than the original or not. Because after a while, you you know, once your butt starts to hurt, it hurts. Um, these grips, I like the grips. They're nice. Um, they're, they're spongy. They're, they're not too spongy, but they're, you know, they're soft. The only thing is, uh, I don't have really big hands, but um, this is a very narrow grip, so my hand wraps around it very, um, I wish it was a little bit thicker, so I, I have something more thicker to grab on. My hands don't get tired or anything like that, I just feel like uh, to hold them tight, I have to really close my hand very tightly, it's like slacking my knuckles. I don't know if that even makes sense or not, but yeah i just wish they were a little bit bigger so uh if i if i ever get more grips i'll get some that are thicker than this um they aren't they aren't uncomfortable but they are uh narrow all right saying that let me move on to the topic at hand give me one moment to get set up here i want to hit go ahead and break this thing down all right let's try this on out okay so what we'll do first is go ahead and open it up. And thanks to my man Urban Grizzly for showing me this technique. I was kind of open the bike. Easy, just hold the front brake and push it. Push it closed. Alright, so that's that. Okay. Now that's one step there. Now, excuse me, my ground isn't level here. I ain't got much space. We just get over that storm, so that's why I'm able to even do this. Okay, so that's how it is without breaking the bars down. You gotta definitely have your tool here. I can't do it by hand anymore since I did the mod, so I need a Allen wrench. This way with it. That's the way it looks. Can't go any further. Um, hope y'all can see this. I don't have a. And if I go this way. Yeah. Unless I take the seat out, I'll raise it up some. Okay, this is as far as I can go because of uh, a foot stretch anymore. It's going to it, it hit the screen here and the pull the, the, uh, the cables are pulling. So that's no good. Uh, I do have my. Here over there, so that's as far as it goes that way, and this is as far as it'll go this way. So, so these are the dimensions of the bike. 
the way it looks folded now. Um, definitely not the same as the other bars. Um, definitely takes up more room as you see. So anyone else thinking about doing this mod, um, this is pretty much what it's gonna look like. I can't really go much further down this way. And if I go this way, the uh, cable loom hangs up on the handlebars. So, and I probably could make adjustments for it, but I'm not gonna jack with it too much. So that's that y'all. I hope this helps somebody and answers those questions for those who were asking. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together and I will catch you all later. Peace.